Chancellor Olaf Scholz expressed his deep shame and outrage at the recent surge of anti-Semitic attacks in Germany. Speaking at an event commemorating the November pogroms of 1938, also known as Kristallnacht, Scholz emphasized Germany's historic responsibility and unwavering support for Israel. However, as the conflict between Israel and Hamas continues, social tensions are rising within Germany. During my visit to a synagogue in Berlin, I met a woman named Noah who shared her family's experience of surviving the Holocaust by hiding in Poland. She revealed that some Jewish individuals in present-day Germany are now concealing their identity due to fear. Noah questioned why she should live in fear of being who she truly is, describing the situation as frightening. Aaron, who fled the war in Ukraine, also feels uncomfortable displaying traditional Jewish items such as his kippah or tzitzit in public. He believes that Berlin is unsafe due to the support he perceives for terrorist organizations among certain groups of people. The outbreak of hostilities between Hamas and Israel has sparked widespread concerns about the rise of anti-Semitism across Europe. In Germany, incidents like the throwing of two petrol bombs at a Berlin synagogue in October have heightened anxiety due to the country's Nazi past. Preliminary police figures indicate that cases of anti-Semitism were already increasing this year, with the majority of incidents committed by far-right groups, even before the Hamas attacks. Since October 7, senior politicians have called on individuals, particularly those from the political left and Muslim backgrounds, to distance themselves from the actions of Hamas. Germany's foreign policy has long considered Israel's security a fundamental priority, with former Chancellor Angela Merkel declaring it a reason of state in 2008. Chancellor Scholz reiterated this commitment during a recent visit to Israel, stating that Germany stands by Israel's side during difficult times. However, Germany's stance is being challenged on the streets, as seen in recent pro-Palestinian demonstrations in Berlin. Some placards at these protests criticized Germany's state doctrine, with one reading, Your Staatsrasen sucks. While these demonstrations were permitted, many others have been banned. Nadine Girard, who attended a large pro-Palestinian demonstration, expressed frustration with what he perceives as a one-sided narrative. As a half-German, half-Palestinian individual, he believes Germany should be more open to discussing Israel's actions. He views criticism and debate as a healthy process for any nation. Sami, who has family in the West Bank and resides in Stuttgart, believes it is essential to express pain over the situation in Gaza. He refers to the suffering endured by Palestinians since 1948 and emphasizes the need to address these issues. Germany's vice-chancellor, Robert Habeck, stated in a widely viewed video message that criticism of Israel is allowed. But the country's right to exist must not be undermined. He emphasized that Israel's security is Germany's obligation. Some demonstrations have turned violent, leading to clashes between protesters and the police. Authorities are investigating reports of black and white banners featuring the Islamic statement of faith, commonly used by jihadist groups, being flown at a march in Essen. There was outrage when a group celebrating the Hamas atrocities on October 7 appeared on the streets of Berlin. The government subsequently disbanded this group. Felix Klein, the government's commissioner for Jewish life in Germany, acknowledges a significant problem in Germany's integration policy, particularly when it leads to anti-Semitic and anti-Israel hate speech. The debate surrounding Germany's foreign and domestic positioning is likely to persist as long as the conflict between Israel and Hamas continues. Noah expressed the ongoing anguish felt by Jewish people in Germany, who often feel unsafe and excluded from society. She believes that they will always be seen as different and not fully German. Germany is grappling with the distressing reality that Jewish individuals do not feel secure within its borders. Simultaneously, there is growing anger within certain communities about what they perceive as a reluctance by the political elite to criticize Israel, breaking a long-standing German taboo.